Yeah. All right, folks, welcome back. Calabar High School recently revived its music program, which has garnered great interest from the students. We've got the principal, Sir Albert Corcho, here to talk about the impact of this program. Good morning. Morning, sir. Good to welcome. have you with us this morning. Good morning, and thanks for having me on your program. It's yes. Pleasure, sir. When you say revive, no, when did it die? We, Calabar, have been noted over the years for having really good musicians. We have lost the last couple of years, 10, 15 years, we have not seen a lot of musicians coming out. And then we had COVID. Mm -hmm. And so we have the young men being at home for two, two and a half years. So when they came back, we realized that there were a lot of issues socially. And so we sat as a team and we looked to see how is it we can get them back into the scheme of things. And then we came up with music. Why music? We realized as young men, they love the music. It's something that is part of our culture. And so you pass a classroom, for example, and the boys I'll are be beating the desk, desk and they're really... Yeah. And so we, 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 we thought about it and we said, how can we incorporate the music into the lesson? And I remember talking to our English department, the first one who took it down. And so, for example, the boys who are doing, let's say, their SBAs, part of the SBA is actually the orals. What we have decided to do over the last couple of years is that we allow them to create a rhythm, build a tune, and that become part of the oral, which they use for their matriculation um, at, at CXC. Yeah. And what we have done also is that the lower school now, we have asked different teachers to make sure that somehow you find a way to incorporate music in this thing. Yeah. I had a talk with, talk with my math teacher, for example, and something that she did. The boys don't like math, uh, generally, but this boy is very good at the piano. And so I walked into one of the classes and she was talking about, what is trust teaching ratio? Young man just couldn't get the ratio. And she said, what is the, the amount of black keys to white keys on the keyboard? Exactly right. And right away, the yep. concept was, um, yep. it, it got the concept. And so I don't think it's something that we can lose. We have to try to push. Boys, we have young men. And so you have to try to gravitate the things that they like. And we believe that music is one of those. So we are, have asked all the teachers, all the heads of the department to try to find some ways in which you can incorporate the music in your lesson plan. Yeah, you mentioned lower school, so the first to sixth form involved in this, or it, is it just a, a... No, it's right through, but mainly first to fifth form. Yeah. Um, sixth form is a little more different in terms of their program, but yeah. definitely first to, to fifth form. I would say we're targeting the exam group um, for, because it's part of their development. We have to do it. The reality is that if you look what is happening with our young men, even at the university level, yeah. it's, eight, it's, it's 70, 30 in term, and so we have to find ways that we can get our young men to be involved. But not only ways, ways that work. That works. And it's proven, studies have proven. I remember years ago, Grace Kennedy through the bank, um, FGB, I believe it was, did a program with Elaine spearheading it. It was called Pitch Perfect yep. because the studies prove that the children who do well in music or who are musically inclined do better in math and do better in English. That so the correct. results are there. So I'm curious, since you've revived the program, what you are seeing, are you seeing that bear out? We, we are, we're seeing it already, to be honest with you. Um, I mean, outside of COVID, just coming out of COVID now. But even with some of the... the um, coursework that the boys you see and you try whatever asked the teachers to do and what they've been doing in, you know turn your class upside down we of have to course. do things differently and so one of the days when cell phone at our school is it, it, it illegal no, no 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 more we have asked the young men we allow cell phones between 7 30 and 2 30 the teachers will decide how we use and so you pass an econ class for example and there's a rhythm going on and the boys are doing, and there's, there's music in the background. And so that is how we are pitching it. And we have seen the work already, and we are hoping to build on that, you know, so that we can get the type of exam results. And not just exam results. We need to produce men who are, you know, socially correct. Yeah. And yes. we believe that this is one avenue, because it's, you don't have to do much. Yeah. Well, because know, the young men, they like it already. Yeah, resources, the, resources hurt programs, because if you don't have the resource, you can't have a program. That's so true. You have to find money for buy guitars and horns and drums and stuff, or are the kids? No, we have to find those. Again, Calabar is blessed with the alumni. Mm -hmm. So we have a number of our old boys who benefit years ago from the, from the music program. And so they are giving back now. A couple of weeks ago, about late December, we had a large shipment of equipment that came in from abroad because um, the old boys saw it fit. And so what we're doing is using that also. So yeah, man, they're they bringing it back. You, are, you can learn now, it's part of the system. And it, it's... Yeah. It's going to get better. Simone asked, when did it stop? But did you always have a music program there or no? We, we always, <laughs> well, before, I'm just at Calabar 10 years now. And when I look at, at the, when I look at the, the, the data, the, the, the records, they've always been good programs. I said, we have a lot of good musicians who have come through our system. Um, but, but we found that the younger generation now, unless you push it to them, unless yep. you say to them, so they're not gravitating towards it. But when you incorporate that into the program and they see it working, 
you have nothing to worry about. Wow, John Holt passed through your doors. Oh, Damian yes. Sham Beckett, Dennis, Ru Dennis Rushton, Xavier Flex Davidson. Um, you know, you mentioned something that's so important because I cannot imagine how difficult it must be now to teach. Yes. <laughs> Innovation, which is what you're employing now, is it has to be employed across all the schools to be able to, to get the young men and young women engaged Definitely. Um, in what it is that they're doing. And the point, the point you made about the improvement of the academic performance is important, but the point, the bigger point you made about the improvement of the whole Oops. human being, because there's something about a child who realizes that if he can conceptualize math through a keyboard, which there he's familiar go. with, it makes him feel like he's not a failure. That's and right. then that rising tide starts to lift all the ships, and by the time you know it, the boys are confident. That's the way to go. Yeah. We have to sell education. Yep. In, in areas like that. You, you had a concert yesterday. How did that go? Oh, and where well. was that? Where was that? We were at the Institute of Jamaica, their auditorium. We launched official program. Uh, we have a, a band which is made up of students from grade 7 right through to grade 13. And they performed extremely well. As a matter of fact, we are now getting orders. We are now getting records. Yes, bookings. And we have been, as I said, the last couple of years, since we came out of COVID, we made a concerted effort okay, to put music back. So if you come to Devotion, for example, it's a big thing. The band is playing playing we're setting up and so we we, we we deliberately got the first formals and second forms because you build your program yeah. your program through that and so yes we have launched the the, the, you the can program. earn from it yes man i mean we are um we are making sure that you know the the young men are mm -hmm. you know when we go out there are mm -hmm. people said so we provide you know they get the transportation <clears throat> the food and to make sure that something comes so we are marketing our, our program I mean, not because they're youngsters, they can't make, you know, they, they can't be marketable. So of we are course. doing that. And we're getting calls already in relation to, um, yes, we heard what's happening. Can we, can we have your band performing? And we will look to see, I mean, to see exactly what is happening. And we make sure that, um, that they perform. And what we try to do is to build that into, they can't lose out in terms of school. So we try to make sure that we balance uh, well, you're teaching them early about discipline that too. So, boy, there's so many positive spin offs from this. So, Coach, you sound like a man who sings, though, you know. That voice sounds like a, a singing voice. Is that a singing voice? If you want people <laughs> to turn <laughs> off, <laughs> that's a no. That, that's a no. <laughs> okay. You know, but I'm very, I'm very happy uh, saying that you know you look to see what it, even at the university level we have to find different ways of yeah, how man. we deliver. Mm -hmm. it's, it's seventy percent female and thirty percent male at university. You know, therefore, we know we're not doing something, and so we have to sit down as a country to see how we can restructure what we do for men. And how do we make programs like this a blueprint for other schools to, to, to take up? Because we need to be learning from each other. Well, we have a talk, I, I mean, programs like this, about we have a very well-organized um, principal group. Mm -hmm. And from time to time, we have this workshop and we share what is happening. So a lot of schools are doing it, you know. We believe that we have seen as principal the fact that we're losing the men, and so they are finding innovative ways. Outside of music, for us at for example, we realized what's happening. A couple years ago, we brought on some of the some new generation subjects, things like digital media, game theory, and animation. Really? And the young men are going. We brought them on a sixth form, and let me tell you, it is unbelievable, and they are doing extremely well. Fantastic. And so you have to rethink, as a country, we have to rethink how we educate our Innovation men. Innovation in school. Yeah. It, it is important. So we have to sell education. That's the way to go. We have to go, so I want to say good morning to the former track and field coach, uh, Michael Clark. Hope you're a good coach. Um, new coach, Corey Bennett, when we jumps. We are doing very well, uh, <laughs> quietly. Um, we, as a matter of fact, you know, we, um, we're not saying we're winning champs, but we'll be very competitive. But um, it's looking good so far. He came on, as a matter of fact, we gave him probably two or three years. And he has literally surpassed already. The boys are really, you know, linking to him. The program is doing well. We had our McKinley wheat, McKinley wheat meet on Saturday and yeah. the, the boys turn up. So we're looking forward to it. Um, we understand the competition is there, but we will, we will represent in Calabar this year. And I know that people are looking forward to it. Good to see you, sir. And thanks for coming. Wait, pleasure. champs are just around the corner now? Yep. Yes. Ma March, end of March. End of March. Oh, wow, wow, wow. That was quick. That was yep. quick. Um, Did yeah, you come bearing gifts, sir, Coach? We, we brought gifts. Um, to the, this year, we are celebrating our 110th anniversary. And um, of course, this is our grade seven young men. We teach Calabar history for the first term. 
at the end of each term, mm -hmm. um, they are to do a project. And unbelievable, this is, this is the project for this year, mm -hmm. where they go. So what I did, they gave me two. Um, we know we're going to have two hosts. Mm -hmm. So the, what it has, if you see what is there, it has the little snippet of what mm -hmm. is happening. And the gate, the gate the is named after our former prime minister. Oh, oh, oh yes, uh, we are <laughs> proud for that. One of the few schools yeah. that can boast to say one of the prime ministers went through our institution. And the ties here, I mean, again, it's part of the history. Mm -hmm. and, I mean, the young men, they are doing extremely well. This is that great seven. Depending on the last day of champs, I might win. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> wow. Please keep it. And walk with it, walk with it, walk with it, walk with it. <laughs> if you see me come as a C bar. <laughs> Thanks oh. a lot, sir. God bless you. Keep up the great work. And thank you very much. And say hi to the students for us. Thanks yes, for and you teach us too. Yep. Calabar High School principal, Mr. Albert Korchel. Um, Why did you say name yeah, you know? No, you said teacher, we could have carried into something totally different about teaching this yes. morning, but we won't. After the break, a contortionist.